What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back with another Farming Simulator video, and in today's video, we are back here on Estancia La Patria. It's been a little bit since we've been on here. Last time I was on this map though, I don't know if you guys are gonna remember, we were doing cow stuff. So I'll show you guys what we did last time. Let me just run over here real quick. All right, so last time we used this uh, TMR machine, total mix ration machine, uh, with silage, straw, and hay, or slash grass, 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 whatever you have in there. And it puts out um, some power food. Right now we got 14,000 worth of power food just chilling, mixing, are already mixed up in there, which is great and fantastic. Let me turn down the speed really quick. There we go. And uh, looks like we're about a quarter of the way into our uh, total silage right now, which is really surprising actually, because we I was not spinning we'd use that much. Um, but we're kind of kind of maxed out the cows. Let me show you this really quick. There you go. Yep. See, they're doing pretty good. They're at 99% productivity, which is great. We'll be making a ton of money off of them. All we gotta do now is start adding more cows to the bunch and let them reproduce and produce milk. But guys, in today's episode, we're gonna, do, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different here. Scroll back over here. I guess I could have just walked right there. I'm just a little lazy. All right. So we are gonna be purchasing field three for two hundred and sixty-one thousand dollars, and we're gonna buy it right now. And I think I just bought it with something on it. Ooh, so I bought it with a whole field of canola still intact and on it, which is great. Oh, this guy's almost done too. Wow, would you look at that? All right, here, we're gonna, oh, whoa there. Really quick, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our truck, which is like jackknifed into the side of one of our trailers. We're gonna go empty out the harvester really quick and we're gonna bring the harvester over here. And what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be combining fields one two and three i'm not sure if we're gonna completely combine them um i haven't decided yet i might just combine one and two and then just extend three a little bit on the bottom right um but i haven't quite worked it out yet or looked at the logistics of everything because i'm not quite sure but um it should be really good and it'll give us a little bit of extra okay it'll help us save time is what it'll do um, because when we won't have to be changing the workers and telling them to move over spots or anything And we can just have everybody just going from field to field to field to field and not have to worry about it at all Let me set my cruise control. Oh crank that cruise control up one. Woo! We about got stuck. All right, but yeah, so that's what we're doing for this one So I hope everybody is ready for that. Uh, I'm just gonna drain this guy real quick. I should probably stop him actually I'll wait till I, I see that it hits um, like a slow down slower number 42% dang this dude's got a lot of got a lot of beans with him all right when we hit this edge here is when he'll stop and then I'll take everything out of his and then I'm gonna transfer him over to the canola because I want to get that canola field harvested as quickly as possible so that I can get uh, uh, cut in the field because they're not cut and plow in the field because there we go because I'm gonna have to be doing some plowing on it and I don't want to accidentally plow into our valuable canola all right okay Whew. for some reason that was like that was still the worker all right all right so we're gonna go we'll start down here at the bottom bottom right and what this means is is this field we could even cut this field into like another section Oh, that's actually a good idea. I could straight just take this field right now where we are, like right here, and I could just cut it straight over and turn it into grass. Uh, this whole bottom half is what I wanted to turn into grass because I was tired of using this field right here for grass because I can't hire workers out on it, so it's a real pain in the butt for me. Um, I mean, that's how you're supposed to do grass, but you can do it a lot quicker and a lot easier if you do it that way. Just back this guy out. I'm just going to get this guy going. He's got a pretty wide head header on him, so he should be able to finish this. In a few minutes, let's say about five, ten minutes. All right. Make sure he's good to go. All right, there we go. And he is off. Uh, now we need to get ourselves a plow. I was looking through the plows and I was trying to decide. Nine meters. Um, our best one is gonna be a John Deere combination ripper. It's nine meters wide. But I'm not sure the horsepower it'll take to pull it. So we might be out of luck for that. Here, we'll lease this for like one day. Now I'll show you the tractor we're going to use. And there it is. Our Case Optimum CVX. So this is our dually. Uh, we had to use this one earlier for 
I think cultivating for using our wide 16 meter cultivator and our uh, uh, what was it? Our John Deere 7200 we had to use this for because those things were taking just a lot more power than I was anticipating. Oh, and I can also, I can round off this corner down here and finish it out and add some more uh, field space right there. Yeah, so that's basically the plan, guys. As you guys can tell, I mean, there's a lot of area that we can add on, little extra spots for us to plant, and then I think overall that'll add up to a bunch of money in the long run. Um, and then it'll just only cost us like 7,200 bucks right now just to get it going and just to get everything uh, working, but it's not gonna be too bad. All right, we'll snag this guy. I hope I can pull this. Oh, okay. I, I know I can pull it, but I just know when you... When it starts digging into the ground is when it has its issues. Yeah, see, she's it's working fine. Right now, at least. Another thing I did want to do is I wanted to use this in, like, a ground modification. And I wanted to cut myself a road, actually. I wanted to cut myself a road right through here where we're driving now. Because it's right next to the spot where we grab everything. I could also cut down all these trees and I could turn this area into a field. It'd be a really, it'd be like a rolling hill field. Um, but I think it would work pretty good. It would just, I don't know if you'd be able to farm it or not. Do you guys know if you can farm, what the heck? Do you guys know if you can farm fields that aren't actually there? So if I create a field um, with just plows and then I, I wonder if that actually stays there. Like if you can farm it with a hired worker or not. If you guys know, leave a comment down below, let me know. Cause I'm kind of curious to if you actually can. All right. Ooh, this guy's probably gonna chop up some of our work here. Ugh. Okay. No big deal. All right. Let's see how far this one goes out. Oh yeah, we'll lose a little bit of soybeans, but it won't be too terrible. All right, allow it to create field. Um. Yep, there we go. It's working. It's working pretty well. We're going five miles an hour, which is it's not too slow. That this is uh like the same speed that the um. Harvester goes at the harvester goes at six miles an hour. Okay, so yeah, we'll be able to do this decently. I'm probably just gonna fast forward through this though, because nobody just wants to sit here and watch me plow this. So I'll be right back real quick. And there we go. All right, let's see how this came out. I don't wonder if it's in a straight line or not. Okay, there you go. That guy's picking up. Ooh, that came out good. All right, let's see what it looks like on the map. So it looks like on the map, it's still gonna show like dirt path, but we know that this area right here is connected. Now we need to connect one and two. Oh, I always keep hitting my tilde button. All right, let's drive over here and let's connect these ones really quick. And then also, if we ever buy three, or not three, if we ever buy six, four, or five, we can combine all these and make one giant field because that is something that this is lacking is it doesn't have too many big rectangular fields. It's got 29. 29 is a weird, 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 weird one. All right. Now, it doesn't matter what we hit over here because this area is already done, which reminds me I need to get a plow on this. Um, but it's it's okay. It's all good. Um, we'll start here. I hope this will cover everything. I should probably move it over just a little bit and be hitting in the edge of the field just so I know that I'm getting the full, uh, the full width. All right, I'm gonna run down here real quick and run right back up.
There we go. Well, I guess those aren't quite lined up perfectly, but I think they're pretty good. Something else I did notice, guys, was right over here, I can also extend this area out to uh, just get a lot more of the fields. I can actually push this out quite a ways. I can chop down that tree and those trees there. I don't think I'll chop down these trees here, but if I do it, if I started the field right here where the ninja is, I think it would work out pretty good. So that's what I think I'm gonna, oh gosh, <laughs> excuse me. That's what I think I'm gonna do next. Um, not right now, because I think I've done enough plowing for this video. Uh, this thing close up, there we go. Let this thing close up really quick, I'm gonna drop it right here. We're gonna go snag the cultivator really quick because we need to get this this bad boy going and cultivating on this field because we got almost a huge open field ready for planting now. We're also gonna need to cultivate that field over there too. So we just need to get crack a lacking with uh, fields one, two, and three pretty much. Um, I've been focusing a lot on cows, so the issue has arose that I've kind of neglected these fields. I probably could have gotten one or two more harvests in in the meantime, um, but I didn't because Oh, what the heck? Oh, I don't know what that was. But yeah, I didn't because I was always focused on getting the uh, cows done. And, um, I guess the last thing we did on this field was corn. So that is why. Um, let's just drop this bad boy out. Alright, I don't think that this will extend the full length I need. Let's just hope so. Uh, there we go. Uh, make sure it looks good. All right, she looks nice. We'll hop off, see how that's looking. Ooh, there we go. All right, guys. So this is looking good. Oh, I was gonna hit the. Oh, okay, I didn't hit the ninja. This is looking good, guys. All right, so all I'm gonna do is go through and I'm gonna cultivate all these fields and finish uh, harvesting that one over there. I'm surprised that this guy isn't full yet. With canola. I mean, dude's like halfway done now and he still hasn't even hit 80% yet. I probably hit 80% in like the second I say that, but. Guys, I'm gonna edit here. Next video, uh, we're gonna be doing a big harvest video. I'm gonna get Brett, the squad, uh, maybe Spencer TV, and a few other of you guys in here with me. I'm gonna help you guys are gonna help me harvest everything. We're just gonna get this train rolling. So, if you guys like this video so far, if you're liking this series, I'm absolutely loving Estancia La Pacho. The map is beautiful. It's a great DLC and add-on. I recommend it for you guys if you guys want to get it. Um, but it's going good. If you guys Loving this though hit that like button hit that subscribe button that always helps and lets me know that you guys are loving it But anyways, I'll see everybody in the next farming simulator video